And we are inside with one of the premier dealers uh, set up today, uh, Cool and Common. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I am doing well. Uh, how are sales and how is shopping? Uh, shopping? The pre-sale shopping was excellent and uh, so far so good. It's, uh, it was a little rainy this morning, but uh, we're definitely seeing the crowds come on through. And the main reason I wanted to talk with you today is because a lot of people watching this may never have tried um, setting up in a booth and doing that. And you mentioned this is your first time ever doing that as well. And for it being your first time, what mistakes did you make? I'm making an assumption that you made a mistake, that you would change something, you would do something different next time. What advice would you have for anybody out there if they're going to undertake this? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, it's funny, I, I talked a little bit about that yesterday. Uh, we did a live stream on whatnot, and some of the problems I was having was just uh, trying to figure out the spacing of things. Um, I had a lot of big, flat things, uh, which are a little difficult to, to place here in the limited space. Uh, also, lack of shelving. So, you know, you've got, you've got the flat horizontal space. If you have shelves, you can kind of display things up, display more stuff. The more stuff you can display, the more stuff people see, the more stuff you'll sell. Um, so that was a little bit of an issue. I've got some stuff on the floor, which I don't like because I know people aren't going to bend down, pick up dollar magazines necessarily. So, so those are some of the things I'd probably try to do a little bit differently. Well, let me ask this. Um, how far in advance did you begin your um, pricing and everything, and how long did that take? Uh, pricing, probably for about the last two weeks, uh, I've been pricing stuff. A lot of my stuff, I was lucky. A lot of my stuff, like my comics, my premium comics were already priced. Uh, I brought a bunch of comics with me. Uh, a lot of the specialty ephemera that I have, I already had priced. So it was a lot of that stuff in the middle, the bulk stuff that I had that, that just took a little extra time, those two weeks. And I know that you sell on Whatnot, you were mentioning to me earlier that you actually had to cancel a few of the Whatnot shows just to be able to do this. So it is a large time commitment doing something like this. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I wanted to make sure, since this is my first time, I wanted to make sure I, I took the time to to do it the best I could, as the best I thought I could, at least for the first time through. Yeah. Right. Um, I did this many, many years ago, and one of the uh, not here, just in general, setting up the shows. And some of the beauties of this, one of the biggest beauties of this, which you need to keep in mind too, depending upon where you're setting up at, what sort of venue, this is indoors. That is huge, because A, we're selling paper, B, it was raining really, really heavily earlier. Um, and some of the shows, like I go to Madison Bachville, people set up and they can pay extra to get a tent. Some people choose not to get the tent. Not a wise move on a day like today. Um, and the other side of that too is, if it rained the night before and you're setting up outdoors, and you're in the mud. And you're putting box, people put boxes down in the water, the water seeps up through, and a couple of things get ruined as well. So that's one of the beauties of being inside. Another one of the beauties of being inside, when you got your uh, booth here, you also got some tables included as well as part of the rental. Right, exactly. And that's huge as well because one of the big problems that uh, I always had setting up in the local flea market, no tables included, which meant I had one of two options. I could either bring tables and have nothing to sell, or bring stuff to sell and have no way and have no way to show it. Um, you know, so we almost had to have two vehicles. And it, you feel silly bringing one entire vehicle down with nothing but car tables right. and folding tables right. in it. Another thing that's huge here is the pegboard. You can see behind us. We've got pegboards. Um, when I was going through my inventory sorting, I have a large amount of uh, artwork. So uh, again, you know, so framed artwork. So that's hard. That's hard to show. Just like you know, either you lay it on a table, it takes up a lot of space. Here, at least, again, I can go vertical, yeah. go up with your right. you Really display all the artwork. Really nice. I think the biggest question: uh, Are you going to do it next show? Uh, you know, I've had enough great sales already. I'm already jazzed about it. Yeah, I will definitely be here again next year. Absolutely. We'll do the spring show coming up next year. Yeah, so definitely do come by in uh, April. And uh, if you mentioned you know me, he said he'd give half a percent off. At least. So at least. So you've got, <laughs> although he gives 5% off to everybody, and half a percent off, you know, I, I don't understand this. Um, why don't you uh, promote your whatnot? Excellent. Thank you, Dave. So uh, I am a seller on whatnot, have been for about a year now. 
Uh, I sell mostly in the categories of music, CDs, cassettes, vinyl coming soon. Um, I also do sell ephemera and books. Got a great sci-fi book show, come and check it out. I'm also going to branch that out into children's books and some antiquarian books as well. And what's your handle over there? Full and common. There we go. All right, everybody, if you hit the like button, definitely would appreciate that. Um, and I'm, I'm regularly in touch, so if you do have any other questions about setting up at, at an event like this, any tips, anything at all like that, two other things that I want to ask if you were prepared. Bags. Did you bring them? No. <laughs> bring bags. <laughs> that might be bags. something to remember. Did you have enough ones and fives? Yes. Definitely made sure my uh, my original cash till was full to the gill. Absolutely. Yep, because again, what ends up happening, somebody will find a $2 item and all they'll have is a 20 And if you don't have enough change, you end up giving out all your change as the time goes on. So you got to have plenty of extra change and bags. Yeah, rookie mistake there. Yeah, I, brought, I brought the cash, and I'm also, you know, I, I, we've got the electronics available, right? So PayPal, Venmo. Uh, I bought some stuff with PayPal yesterday. Nobody's paid me with PayPal yet. Uh, I think a lot of, most people, I think, bring the cash. Right, yeah. Which is good. Definitely, definitely. So hopefully that helps you a little bit. If you're ever thinking about setting up at a venue like that, uh, do hit the like button if you could, and we will see you next video. Thank you. My pleasure. My pleasure.